Welcome to Bright Horizons. Good morning, with Deb Colella and our Jim, Jim Jaffe. Happy Fantastic Friday, everybody. We are back. We and we're not streaming yes, today. Yes, look, we're back to our Bright we're Horizons studio. We're back in studio. our Bright Horizons studio. <laughs> coming to you live. <laughs> Dum -da -da. <laughs> coming to you. And I like the way that Look sounds. at Deb, pretty in pink. Oh, and we have our gym who's got a, a I love this turquoise gym. The moment Thank I you. saw him this morning, I said, look at that turquoise and the beige. It's such a great combination. You look Thank so, you. he always looks handsome, but the colors are it's, fabulous. It's almost like you. the Caribbean waters. You I know, love that. Like, it's it's so, that's what is so, yes. I can't stop looking. It's yes. tranquil. Yes. It's very soothing. I love that. It's so so nice pink thing. and um, turquoise. turquoise. Great combo. I feel like birthdays. Got birthdays. I have got two birthdays. For today and if i'm missing anybody i do apologize but let's say a happy shout out birthday to caitlin gomez caitlin Good happy birthday, caitlin. birthday also a new mama well not a new mama oh, but a new uh daughter exciting. beautiful and also we have ellen wolf happy birthday to you yes ellen wolf i was going to mention ellen too ellen okay happy birthday she's very special she sure is a lovely lady anyway take it away jim then on Sunday, I have a dear <laughs> friend, Jay Stewart. Happy birthday, Jay. Hi, Jay. Happy birthday. And then coming up with Lynn Bird. Do you know Lynn Bird? Yes, of course, Lynn. Happy, happy birthday, happy Lynn. birthday. Absolutely. And Maria Giuliano. Maria Giuliano. Happy Italiano. birthday. Giuliano. It's a little like Italiano. Opera, like an opera. Con la la la. Con la la la. la, la, la. <laughs> Don't get me started. Do you know where that's going to go? I'll and start the, singing. And then a good friend, Jenna Pelcher, is coming up next week. So happy birthday, happy birthday everyone. Jenna. Oh, my we, goodness. We Birthdays appreciate in the all house. of you. Yes. yes, your special day. You With are. that being said, you know we love to sing. And for Sweet that special tambourine. happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to, to you. you. Yay! Hope it's special, everybody. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And you have all month to do it. So take your time, enjoy, and enjoy every moment. And then we have a couple of anniversaries coming up. All right. And? The big one for Deb and, and oh, Greg. Oh, well, that's July. That's yes. around the corner, though. I know. <laughs> I know. It's the big one. The big one. What do you mean by, well, yeah, that's a long time. There, yeah, the big one. And Actually, my, 40. I was thinking about that. It's not too far away from 40. And my beautiful sister, Angela and, and John. Angela 51 and John. years oh, coming up. amen. That is July wonderful. 1st. My goodness. So right around, isn't that funny? July 1st and ours is July 4th. Yes. Great timing. I'll never forget. And, it, and, yeah. it, and you know, you you often hear this. It seems like yesterday, oh, but I yeah. can still picture us at that wedding. And the I reception. totally agree because you can. It's almost like it was just yesterday. You can close your eyes and blink, and it's like, wow, what happened? What in the world happened? And it's always nice to celebrate those joyous occasions. It is. It most certainly especially is a wedding, celebrating love. Happy, happy times. Yes. All about love and tranquil with the turquoise. Yes. I yes. love it. No, all about happiness and love. Weddings are fun, and they're meant to be fun. And thank God. Yeah, and I, I, just... I, I, had, I, I walked my sister down down the aisle because my father had passed away yeah. so it was very meaningful of course to be part of that whole of pro course. process and that's j welcoming nice... john into our family that's who we beautiful. love just like a brother of course of course so we're so, so joyous to celebrate that anniversary happy and anniversary. your anniversary yes, of love yes wow which my bring goodness. us to the topic today of what's important to you what is important to because you because we know a strong topic love has to be the first priority yes it is yes the love of your life the love of your life. Greg. You know, yes. I, it's funny because I didn't think I was going to marry Greg. Isn't it funny? I really did not. And I don't think either one of us, we just, we just, it happened. Because <laughs> we kept bumping into each other. But it's so true. I mean, it's just when you, don't, don't overthink anything. Don't, uh, just when it falls into place, when it's right, it's right. And you know it. Yeah. And you when, specifically, you just know it. And it's interesting how, when you look back, how that happened. Oh, you know? yeah. Very interesting. The, 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 I could I could write several books, not just The Shake of Two Kanka Fu, but I could write several books. <laughs> uh, my good, And they'd probably be bestsellers because it's just it's a shame because it's actual life moments that yes. have actually happened. And in one's life. We should all do that. Yeah. My Anne is, is a focus in my life. And yes. it's just beautiful to have that, that love is in your life. And the center of, yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. And so I'm that's so happy really for so you important. both. Absolutely. Which also brings us to family because family is so important to us. Amen for and, that. And we've discussed before our parents, that's the right. beautiful childhood that we both had. I always say, loving you know, parents. loving parents, that's the stem of it all. But, you know, if you would ask me, Deb, what is your, um, uh, what's important to you? Of course, Lord my God above yes. is number one. And then my husband and my family and my, uh, my family, <laughs> my Jim Jim, very much part of my family. But 
you know, it's all important. And as a matter of fact, I was saying this to Jim as I was driving in this morning. This is so funny. It's, I find it funny. And I took the time to look. It was a Jeep that was driving ahead, a little bit ahead of me. And on the back of the Jeep, he had a wheel that was engraved. It said, I don't know if you could see this, no problem. problem. I, I hand wrote it, no problem. You got the longer arms, Jim. <laughs> and then upside down, they had the word problem. Right, I can't see it. It's anyway, right. so it was no problem, and then, and then the problem. word problem, it was upside down. I started to laugh. I thought that, it, and I thought about it. I said, you know, that makes a lot of sense for the show because there really is no problem until there is a problem. What's important to you? Is this important to me at the time? Yes, because I took the time to read it and to, to <clears throat> evaluate what it really meant. And I and I started to overthink. I'm like, stop it, Debbie. It was meant to be for you to see that. I just thought that was funny. It's funny how we get signs coming into our life yes, like that. Yes, yes. I love that. I was, and they pop in my direct. You know, they they're just there. Am I right, Jim? Yes. You, know, you could o be driving somewhere, and all of a sudden it's like it could be you'll a license. Say something. It could be a license plate. It could be the license plate right. frame. Sometimes has that. something very significant. I, I've seen things on the back of car windows that w were very significant too. So it's, yeah. it's just interesting during the day how things occur to you and make an impact. Absolutely. And I those keep are seeing important. butterflies on, yes. on vehicles. I love them. Butterflies are my thing. I adore them. And uh, you know, the cross, Jesus equals love with the heart. I love yes. that. I see that a lot. Um, and, you know, it's funny because, you know, my aunt Lydia is in the hospital right now. And she's fighting for her life, and we're praying every oh, day, and I know prayers, it's going to be yes. okay. Uh, we're not going to think anything other than that. But I'm only bringing this up because of signs. And what's important to me is the other day as I was driving, again, on a truck, Well, and it happened to be on the 18th because that was her birthday, uh -huh. June 18th. And here it is, folks. 18 was in red, all red, okay, on a white truck. And I stopped and said, wow, okay, there you go. Happy yes. birthday, Aunt Lydia, 18. Then... I looked at the time and I wrote down the time. As I'm driving a little bit further, what do I see? But um, oh, I forgot. I, I, it was just it was all in relation to her birthday. Right. And I was writing down the times, and uh, I called my my cousin to let her know, Diana. And she was like blown away. We were talking about the song Hotel California because she heard it the other day. I heard it. What are the chances? I don't know. The both of us hearing the same song. And it was just meant to be. The timing is what I'm getting yes. at. And um, the, the, the sole purpose, that was important to me. So I had to stop what I was doing, give her a call. That was important because she needed to know. Right, Diana? Right. Well, timing is very important in our yes. lives. You know, because you can miss an opportunity. Yes, if yes. If you don't seize it. Yes. Or We've, I've, <laughs> meeting people, the significant people that come into our lives. So that's another very important right. factor is, is timing. It is. And then I, I keep saying, you know, it's never too late. True, it's never too late, but you still have, you know, we're human, let's face it. Do we have regrets? Of course. I mean, if we would have, could have, should have. You know, I'm sure there's times you might have said, gee, I wish I could have gone back in time. Yeah, but it's too late. We know that. But it's never too late to start now right. is what it's all about. Yeah, so, there's so many opportunities. To take that stay. stress out of your, your life and that uh, and feeling then, of feeling trapped. Yes. And you mentioned the Lord and faith yeah. is so important to us. Oh, absolutely. Because it really is like the, our compass that keeps mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. moving in, the, in that That's direction. Right. Beautiful to have that faith. And friends? Friends are very, very important. Here's something I'd like to read to you all. Okay. And I happen to see this is love is not all you need. Okay. You need mutual respect. Okay. Uh, you need support. Yes. You need trust. Right. Big one there. You need boundaries. You need people to be there when it matters. Yes. And you need space to grow and acceptance when you do. You need people to show their love in a way you can understand. And that's really profound right there. I had to mention that because it hit me in a way to yes. where that is important to me. All of what I just read is very important. What's important to you? You know, we when you really... Actually, in all reality, it's... Um, that could be said, it's an endless journal, let's put it that way. Right. You could sit there and write everything, what's important to you, what's important to me. Let's face it, I mean, it's just uh, timeless, endless. And there's no stopping that conversation. And so I much is think, important. I think it's important to focus on, on it being important, you know, that those things have an right. effect on us. Right, right. 
And uh, that, that's what shapes our lives, which is beautiful, the, the lives that we have. It's, yeah, it does shape your life in so many more ways than, than we realize until it's uh, the afterthought. Wow, you know, that's why, right? Yes. Or how come that happened or whatever. But, you know, the power of your life purpose, what is the power of your life? It's to have these things occur. What is important? Is it important to, you know, hey, you know, I could be driving and see that, that homeless person on the street. That's important to me. It, it, it hits me and it reflects on how I feel because I say, dear Lord, that could be me. It could be anybody I know. Right. And this poor soul, what is their story? Right. What is their story? Who knows? You know, that's important to me. I mean, maybe I'm going on and on and be a little too much, but, you know, there's a lot of things that are super, super important to me. And then uh, fitness and health. Is Which is one that important. Jim is yes. so good at. I admire yes. you so much for that. He's so yes. disciplined. He always has been. Fitness and health. And I, in fact, Greg and I are going to start doing that. We're swimming this weekend. We're right. loving the well, the weather's been kind of rainy here, but we didn't have a chance this past weekend, but we will for sure this weekend. Looking forward to it. It's nothing like swimming in a, in a wonderful pool with that sun hitting you, you know? The greatest exercise. Yeah, and, and you know, we realize that our health is really the foundation. Because yeah. without that, then we yeah. have these struggles that take us, you know, fo our focus away from other things that That's we need true. to do. They, they say health is your wealth. Yeah. You know? And and then our careers are important yes, naturally, yes. and uh, what our our uh, place of employment, the people that we work with, just well, because especially with you and I, we spend hours and hours each day. At, at our places of employment. Oh, do we ever. But, you know, you enjoy what you do, and I enjoy what I yes. do, and that makes a significant difference. And, you know, if you enjoy what you do, then there you go, enough said. You know, you have to really enjoy what you do. And, you know, you're going to, to, to have those struggles. You're going to have a day, a good day. That What's that song by Frank Sinatra? That's life. That's, <laughs> That's what true. they say. I love that song because it's so true. Riding high in April, shot down in May. Yeah, you're riding high in April, <laughs> shot down in May. Da, da, da. Oh, you, know, you don't let that deter you in any way whatsoever. You get right back up and they say, get off, dust yourself off, and do it again. Get back on that horse, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, life doesn't have to be stressful, meaningless and uninspiring. When we have people around us that inspire us, it is so important and very valuable. I mean, that alone is, yes. to me, that's, I don't care if you win the lottery, that's more important, having your, your, your loves in your life and, and just knowing that they're there. And that's the quality that um, I yearn for every day and I look for and I thank God to have it. And then as I reflect on this beautiful Our picture behind horizons. us. bright horizons. It's so beautiful. Having, a, hor having a, a horizon to appreciate every day is important There you go. Beautiful point. Because look at that. And Deb, as you know, she photographs rainbows and beautiful skies. I love all that. Skies. I'll grab the, the photo. The other night, so... there was a magnificent sunset. Yes. It had oranges and pinks. Beautiful, right? It just really takes your breath away. I know. I know. It's and, so... And I was driving. I, I was <sighs> in a, in a uh, parking it. lot, and I turned right, heading west. And all of a sudden, it was there, you know, and, and the impact that it has on you, yes. especially those colors on, on the sunset. It's so you stop. You're like, wow. I know um, I took a photo. Of Greg's like, Deb, look at this rainbow. And my phone was all the way in the kitchen. And uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm walking on tile. I'm like, I'll get there next year. You know, I grabbed my phone. I took a shot of it. And I, I think I put it in a reel. But, uh, you know, get that moment in time. I'd love to take those pictures when you can, by all means. I even took a picture of an alligator in our back. Yes, I showed I you. that, yes. This alligator, just so you know, was huge. I mean, close to a nine foot. I mean, I seen it on TV, Survivor, you know, Naked and Afraid, all those shows. But you don't dream of it being in your backyard <laughs> unless you see something on the news. But this son of a gun was really big. And I showed Jimmy. He's like, he couldn't believe it. I want to show him. That was in your backyard. He was just like lying there basking in the sun. I have it somewhere on my phone. Um, I don't know if I could find that, but anyway, it was huge. And he was just like lying there. And I'm talking maybe 12 feet away from where our backyard, and I thought, oh boy. And I, the wildlife came out, and I thought they were going to hurt it, and I just backed away. I looked at Greg. I said, I can't believe I'm this close to begin with. So Greg and I, I think we were just so stunned that we just did movie discoveries, <laughs> kept staring at this big alligator. And even the wildlife kind of backed up because he was a big one. And, uh, all of a sudden, we went back in the house, and little by little, he went into the water. I said, oh, good, you know. And then we saw it again. But, yeah, what well, are you going to do? That's where that alligator lives, in those lakes. Yeah, yeah. he's like, I'm going to hang out with the koalas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to shake it he, up there one he day. You probably heard that Greg is a chef. Yeah, you know, I'm ready for some, some tasty morsels. <laughs> koalas classics. <laughs> 
I don't like what you're making tonight, Greg. I'll see you around <laughs> next week. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you got pasta, pasta for you. Forget it. No, no, no. Never your mind. Never your mind. I'm sure I'll come back. I'll get away vegetables, <laughs> yeah, or <for> meat. <laughs> That's funny. Well, as a matter of fact, I just did a, a little video on Greg. He made a beautiful dish last night, and I put it up on Facebook. I'm going to be doing his own Facebook page for oh, him. Oh, good. And uh, he's just too good not to. And I, I just, his dishes are just amazing. And every dish he makes, I always take a, a snapshot. So, yeah. Yeah, you should um, post those. That'd I mean, nice he's, he's fabulous. I mean, my good and the holidays are coming up call him call me I'll, I'll we'll work it out we'll, we'll cater whatever we have to do but yeah so i posted that and it's making me hungry thinking about it because it was excellent so <laughs> chicken penne uh no chicken rigatoni with the um the so his sauces are to die for and um spinach it was just uh, mushrooms uh, yum healthy that's a very healthy healthy, healthy so healthy. that's another thing important to us there you go our meals yeah and with you and Greg having a chef at home, you know, it it's enhances funny. the meals. It does enhance it, but like I, there was a time I would say, yeah, I'm having a problem. He's a chef, and that's why I can't lose weight. It's all his fault. <laughs> and I, was, I used to love doing that. It's all his fault. And he's just like, yeah, you know, but it's, it's true. You know, you have to be disciplined, but it is difficult. He doesn't cook every time, every night, because we're alone, you know, and that's, we like sometimes, I hate, sometimes fast pickup, right. quick pickup, you know, if he's, he's got time to do it, but. After a while, you're like, what can I make? It's the same old, same old. You have to be creative, you know, which he is. That's what's nice about cooking because it is an art. Yes. And it's endless, just like, you know, our and topic com combine, today. Combining what's different important to you, flavors. Right? And... right. What's important to you? What can I make today? It's endless. It doesn't stop. It's so creative. And there are so okay. many cuisines around the world when you think about it. <gasps> yes. I love I love that chef Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. We we just follow him. Yeah. He's he's amazing. I love him. I mean, there's so many wonderful chefs out there. Kudos to all of you chefs. You're ma ma ma. You're the best, all of you. But um, and then to me, the ocean is important. Oh, I've always want. That. I've always lived near water. You know, I. I you I, meditate I I could be, by the ocean. I don't right? think I could ever yeah. live in an inland environment without any water right, nearby, right. unless it was a lake maybe or a river, but. There's something, it's very healing. Yes, it uh, is. The water. Very therapeutic, absolutely. And, and I can relate to that, yeah. When absolutely. I was at Cornell undergraduate, my fraternity house was right by a gorge, and at night you would hear the water oh, just rolling by. And it was funny because we had a room that As was As you're not, saying that, you're going like this, yeah. <laughs> rolling by. It's, yeah. so, <laughs> it's so soothing. <laughs> I don't know who came up with this idea, but they had a room in the fraternity that was not heated. Oh. So, but you could have your, they had bunk beds, like it must have been 20 or 30 bunk beds. So people that wanted that fresh air could go up there and sleep. And they would have, you would have a heated blanket because of obviously in the cold, cold, in Ithaca, yeah, New sure. York, it was cold. Sure. So you wouldn't freeze to death, but you, you'd, you'd sleep in that fresh air. And that it was makes very, a difference. It, it does. But the other thing about it was in that room, you could hear nature outside and this gorge with the water going by. It really would put you to sleep. It was mm. just a very peaceful atmosphere. I try to find apps at night to go to sleep with and, you know, mesmerize, just, just space music. In fact, um, all different types of uh, music that are just so soothing. You know, yesterday, speaking of watching and, and what's important, we have a bird bath in the backyard. And Greg, Greg's always filling it up because the wind takes the water out. <laughs> and we have, like, the different gadgets to where, you know, it can go high or low. Anyway, um the blackbirds, they love to, and they just hang out, just like, hey, Koalala, we're coming for water. We'll, have, we'll be back for dinner later. But anyway, um, this one bird, it was so funny. He he sat on the bird bath, and Greg and I were watching him, him or her, and there was a big piece of bread in the bed. In the bed. I was like, wow, I mean, you just like, he carried it for wherever he got, he or wow. she got it, and he dropped it in the bird bath. And uh, Greg's like, look at this. And then he came back and did it again. Huh? I said, what does that mean? You know, He wants wet bread. <laughs> I guess he wants wet, but he left it there. So Greg cleaned it out. He's okay, ready for another one. But it was just, that was important to see that moment in time. You know, that, it was like. Well, the beauty of that is that you're actually that. relating to a, a beautiful creature, the bird. Right, a beautiful creature. And how beautiful nature is. How nature is, is and what which, this bird did in front of you. nature is important to us, you know. Every aspect, right. Yeah, because I, and, and the funny thing is, that now that I'm thinking about that, people live in cities, right, mm -hmm. New York mm -hmm. City, where you think of cement, concrete, jungle, but... There's always a tree, a beautiful tree that you might see, it's, and some, sometimes there'll be a vacant lot, and people plant gardens now yes, in those. Yes. It's, very, it's very interesting 
that we really need to have nature near us. And, and naturally in Manhattan, you have Central Park, not oh, too far away. Oh, that's beautiful. Oof. But on those blocks that have solid, you know, brick, mm -hmm. cement, concrete, they always have landscaping. Landscaping that trees. beautifies everything, right? I love the pl the plant, the flower uh, boxes that people put outside yes, their windows. Yes, it makes a difference. You know, it's so interesting how people really ha the have that need for nature, right, right? And that they bring it into a city environment like yeah. that, because here we have it all around us. Oh, yeah. But we in do. those we environments, do. in those cities. You really have to bring it in, and people do, because yeah. that's what's important to them. I love watching, you know, I'll drive around the neighborhood where we live, and I'll see the different landscaping, and it's just so pretty what they do. And yes. it's so obvious that there's care, and they, they want to just, you know, beautify the whole community. It's just lovely to see. And even the um, HOA, they do a very good job in the development that we live in. I have to say kudos to them. They're really very good. They keep the property looking beautiful. It's most important to the eye and to your your soul yes. nature. You know, it is. Yeah. It's all about what is important to you. Yeah, yeah. I think our environment is very important. Like very you just much. Said, uh, where we live, how we live. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you weren't born just to you know to work and to you know. Uh, yeah, of course, to, to survive either, but to, to settle for life, it's, you know, enjoy life. If you're not going on a vacation, you know, I'm taking some time in July. Greg and I, we don't, you know, we're not to, well, just to stay home. To me, that's right. nice. To go swimming, to be able to sleep in. If you want to go out to dinner, whatever. It's the purpose of being together and just doing things. Quality time is what I'm really saying, you know. Um, and far more, it's more powerful in my eye. And then as I look around here, another thing that's important in our lives Design and art. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you think about the furniture that's selected, so, that's you know, right. someone selected the furniture, right. the design pattern, and it's very pleasant when you walk into this location mm -hmm. to see the design patterns, the artwork. I mean, someone took the time to decide, well, let's have a sailboat on that shelf. Right. Because it brings beauty and art to us. And we p picked this beautiful Bright Horizons yes. photo because we felt that that e exemplified us and our bright horizons. I don't see the coconuts though, do you? <laughs> Up in the tree. I don't see the coconuts. In the tree somewhere. <laughs> this is so beautiful. We love our background. It's yeah. so pretty. Oh my goodness. Our that bright, sunny South bright Florida. Horizons. Yes, bright horizons. <laughs> More is possible with bright horizons. And our dear Marie Pinchman, out of my mind and into your heart. Marie, we can't get through a show without you. You know that. You are important. That's who's yes. important. Our Marie Pinchman is important yes, to us. Yes, you are important to us, Marie. And we love your wisdom, as I always say. We love your yes. art, your creative essays, and the books that you write. Just They, they really touch us in a very deep level. It and this one, be. we were speaking of nature. This is called Willows in the Wind. Oh, Willows in the Wind. It's a poem. I love that. Thoughts must not be too rigid. Yeah, it's pretty. Giving and getting should blend. Lives must follow the ebb and flow, as do willows in the wind. Days may be stormy and cloudy, nights may be long and grim. With faith and joy we grow and survive, as do willows in the wind. Beautiful, beautiful. Healing waters from streams within us uh -huh. keep us supple and able to bend. Troubles and trials of life make us strong, like the roots of a willow in the wind. Oh, we'll have bends and twists and turns in our lives, even times we may want life to end. If we spread our arms wide and reach for the sky, we can become like willows in the wind. Oh, Let us dance and sway with the willows. Let us laugh and play with the wind. Let life be as gentle and as shadows left by willows in the wind. I love that. And you Thank know you, what, Marie. Marie? My favorite tree up north was always a weeping willow. Really? Oh, one of my favorite trees. Wow. I could not get enough. In fact, when you start reading that, that right away, my, my the weeping willow <laughs> tree and the maple trees next. But my favorite number, numero uno, is the weeping uh, willow. They're just gorgeous yeah, trees. Yeah, I, they've always been my favorite, oh, too. I love them. Because in the breeze, it's just... They, they it's almost flow. like they dance. It's like you know, they're it's doing like, a show for yeah. you. It's like, okay, 
right. Yes. Come with us. We're going to weep you in the window. <laughs> to think the Lord created such a beautiful, uh, interesting tree. Every tree is tree. different. Yes. Look, you know what mesmerizes me most? when I'm, And I, I have a thing about trees. I remember doing a book report in school. And I got into it so much to the degree I was taking a leaf at a time and studying every leaf oh. and looking at the trunk. And to this day, I still do it. I'm so, like, remember the Wizard of Oz was talking trees? Yes. <laughs> I still do that in my mind. I'm like, we have the trees in our development that remind me of the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the big, heavy, duty, old time. I mean, decades like old. Oak, oak I mean, trees, my yeah. goodness, the oak trees are just, oh. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree, right? Turn yes. your land out. But they've always been very interesting to me to see the trunk of a tree. How old is it? Look at the direction right. it's going. Right. And I could just look at that tree, and that could take up all of my mind. For I could study it forever and just sit there and just enjoy studying that one tree. Uh, we had a tree in the backyard. I made a comment to Greg once, and I said, does it remind you of something? I, I can't say the word. And he looked at me, he says, honey, I don't know where your mind's <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, it looks that way. But anyway, you know, it's what yeah, you see. It helps stimulate your imagination. Right. Yeah, it's my imagination is very vivid. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. And so then when trees... you think of the root system of trees, yes. too. Some of them have shallow roots. Some of them yeah. have deep roots. And then they start to grow. Uh, they flourish uh, out. It's just some incredible. Some of them are along the surface of the, of the yeah. soil rather than just growing down. Right. But very interesting patterns they develop. It's like our veins. Now I'm going to get real yes. Look at this. Veins in your hand. It's, like, yes. it's, just, it's really interesting. I just, Which I've is important to you, the flow of blood That's in your right. body. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just being silly, but I, it's Friday. It's okay. Yes. And what a difference a day makes. What a difference a day makes. And what you make that a difference mean? to us, everyone. What's important to us is you. Yes. You always have been, always will be. Each That's why you, we do the show. All of our we, viewers, we, yes. we really appreciate all of you. We appreciate all of your texts, your messages. And like I, Jim, Jim and I always say, come on our show, be a guest. Don't be, yeah, just that, open up. Now that we're doing StreamYard, yes. you know. It, it, can, it can be easier to have guests. You know, it's a little bit different than Zoom. Zoom is Zoom, but StreamYard is nice because you can have multiple guest and yeah. I'm I'm still new at it but uh, I I just it's such a nice pleasure to, it, technology again is amazing and it enables us to be able to be with our loved ones and friends yes. and that that matter you know what matters to us yeah, I'm going to be reaching out to some of our viewers because yes. I'd like them to be our guests that would be nice and it makes I, it so I, much I really, easier now with StreamYard yes so they don't it's not live have... but still you know I mean you can't go live right it just depends, you know, if it's somebody's first time and maybe they're uncomfortable. But right. there's not, everyone's doing something today in social right. media. You know how that right. goes. But it's nice so, to have that. It really is. It's a convenience. Ability, yes. Tremendous. But we came live to you today, and what a difference a day makes. Got to hear the tambourine. Uh-oh, I hear the tambourine coming. It's on its way. Oh. What, what a, a difference, difference a day, day makes. 24 little hours. Brought, brought the sun, sun and, and the flowers where there used to be rain. What a the difference a day makes. And the, the difference, difference is you and you and you and you and you and you. All of you. All of you. All of you make a difference. We never like to end our broadcast without saying, remember, to keep, keep your, your horizons, horizons bright. With that being said, mwah. Until next time, God bless you. We'll see you soon. Thank you for joining us. Bye -bye, we do everyone. appreciate you. And now I have to be able to try to get the <laughs> cursor <laughs> to say goodbye.